All right, we're ready to go on a road trip here on Cash Canada, and we have uh, Sparky 500 there. We have Sparkle, and we have JJ Cash, Lyric Glass, London Westie. We're ready to go, but first, Lyric Glass has a public service announcement. Yes, thank you to all the people that are subscribing to our channel. It's been fabulous. We love you. Numbers are growing up. Everything's going good. Yep. And we're ready to go large in Grand, Grand Rapids. Rapids. Let's go. Woo! Like that we're in Grand Rapids. Let's go get a cash. I don't think this one's gonna stump us. Oh, it's even got a hinge. It is well used. Okay. Woo! It's a bison. It's a bison. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> now that's my kind of bison in the woods. You've gotta like it when it's a small. We have a few caches under our belt so far, and the cold cache crew puts out a series every year, and they usually put out a bunch of larges to make it easier for people in the winter time to find caches. This year they didn't put out so many larges. Some of them are regular and small, but we're having a great time. And we're going to an event today that's a chili cook-off, and we're gonna meet Neil Moore of Cache Tales and maybe Bob Billy. Yeah, this is what we're after. Good large cash. Nice find in the winter. And nice and dry. There we go. Sign the log sheet. And I think it's time for some chili. There we go. Let's get some chili. It's Neil Moore. Hey, you're not supposed to be serving the chili. Get out here. We gotta talk. I'm eating. You're eating. It's not eating time yet. Get out here. We're here with Neil Moore of Cash Tales. If you haven't seen his channel, check the link that's gonna yeah. pop up in one of those corners. I never know which one. Um, it would be this one. This one here. Okay, there you go. Or maybe it's this one here. This one here. Maybe it's that one over there. Who knows? It could be this one. That one. Maybe it's this one. Why don't we put? Yeah, we'll put it right here. <laughs> so, tell us about chili. And the, the cook-off. The chili cook-off, this is the 14th year, and uh, we have 10 cooks. Every year it's 10 cooks. Yep. And we're all gonna, everybody that's in attendance is gonna taste the chili. I can't wait. Yes. And we have a ballot, and you vote for your, this year we're voting for our top three, top three. to get the actual top chili. Nice. And then there's uh, best presentation, and there's also hottest chili. I've seen some good spots already that have got good presentation. I don't want the hottest chili. I'll I let do, you I do, finish I do. that. All right, let's get some chili. Yeah. Tell us about the chili. Why is it called the rainbow pepper sparkle chili? Well, um, there's rainbow peppers uh -huh. and there's the, Ooh. There's the sparkle. Special the sparkle ingredients. Cool. That's awesome. Is this going to be the best one? You think yeah. you're going to be the winner? Uh -huh. All right, here's a high five for you. Woo. You've seen the interview we had with Castro, and now we have a reviewer in here in Michigan that's reviewing for Iowa. But there's a story. <laughs> Meet Tiki. <laughs> Tell us your story. Hi. Well, um, originally from Michigan, I started reviewing here. Um, we moved to Iowa several years ago, and uh, opportunity uh, arose there. Yeah. So we've been reviewing there for the last few years, and um, uh, 
moved back to Michigan a couple of years ago, and uh, now we'll be reviewing Michigan again. You're going to so. be part of Michigan's team. Yep. Awesome. What's going to happen to Iowa? The poor um, people there. Well, the uh, the reviewer that we brought in when we came back yeah. um, uh, turned out to be a fantastic pick. Oh, okay. um, uh, Iowa Landmark is, is a reviewer name. All right. And uh, uh, he's he's amazing. Um, so I just kind of worked myself out of a job, if you will. <laughs> I found yet another reviewer, and this one is actually... I was hiding, though. You were hiding? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, now you're not Disregard, hiding. Disregard the t-shirt. Alanite. Alanite, and you uh, a review for... Southwest Michigan. Southwest Michigan. How many uh, geo reviewers are there for Michigan? Four. Four? Four? Yes. Jeez, and I thought Ontario had a lot with three. Holy moly. Been a reviewer since uh, October 2013. Uh -huh. um, recruited by the previous person you talked to. This used to be his area. This his, was his area. Now, do you want to give it back? No. no. <laughs> All right, it's very nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Hey! I think you're going to be number one. We're hoping. Well, we're hoping. We're Just hoping. presentation has a big influence. Your presentation was awesome. I voted it for number one. Just to let you know, I'm not, not you. that we're getting any favorites or anything like that. Thank you. If you could slip some chili into my bag, that'd be good. <laughs> it might make a mess. We, th thanks very much for putting this on. It's awesome. Yeah. Thank, thank you for coming all the way from Canada. From Canada, we did. And don't forget to Cash Canada and come on out, get some chili, and check this event out if you can, and get to Canada, get to the U.S., and, and get be, to everywhere you can, get some sure cash. Be sure to go to the geocaching capital of Canada and do that yes, series. That that's was a an blast. awesome one. Yeah. See ya. Bye. So where did you go hunting for the venison? Up in Kalkaska, Michigan. So what do you put in the chili? It's uh, normally one pound of venison mm -hmm. and a half a pound of Italian pork sausage. Oh, it's good. It's the yeah. best. And this was absolutely Lear Class's favorite. It is. Because it has venison in it, yes? Yes, She I threw like up venison. on that stuff. Thank you very much. It was an awesome chili, too. I really think you. Okay, Neil, thanks for the fun event. It was awesome. awesome. Some great chili. We can't stay, though. We have to go out and get some caches. Geocaching? Wouldn't yeah. be crazy? I know. It's, it's a, what it's all about. <laughs> so, uh, we won't know what the winner is, but uh, if you catch his video, and we'll put the link below, and you'll be able to see who won. And I think I know who it is. I'm guessing. I think I might have it. Is, I might it, have... is it? Yes, that's it. Absolutely. <laughs>
You said. Oh, <laughs> gonna put Link below. Yeah, he's he's hiding down oh, there. Oh, there he is. Hey, Link, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he's a nice feller. He's short. Short but nice. Four black guys. <laughs> Spells the combination to the lock. That's another great gadget cache here in uh, Grand Rapids. Sparky 500 is spinning the wheel, checking for lights in there, which give you the clues for the cache. And Neil Moore is here with us again, checking this one out with us. Awesome. Looks like a good cache. We just got to get in. the ones that are right? We finally got into that one. That is absolutely an mm. awesome cache. If you're in Grand Rapids, come on out and see this one and uh, bring Neil with you because uh, he has the right letter in his head there to get into that. Now sometimes you got to go to a cache that uh, is special to you and this one I had to go to, this is a Neil Moore cache and I found it. I was uh, going to go further down, but it said it was a three, one and a half, so I just followed along the wall and uh, looked over the railing and that that doesn't belong there. Found the cache. Thanks, Neil. Good hide. Mm-hmm. <laughs>